today I'm going to be looking at the NES emulator JNES and I'm going to cover basically just the install and uh, configuring the gamepad. So the first thing is come to their website which is Jabosoft, I think, I think I'm saying that right, Jabosoft.com and I'm going to be downloading the latest release which is version 1.01 .01. and so I'm going to go over here to, to JNS then I'm going to go to downloads and then I'm going to click right here on the downloads link but you can also download earlier versions too if you like so I'm going to go ahead and download this and you may have to click up here to download it and I'm going to save it to my documents minimize this and you're going to need some sort of zip program I like to use 7-zip I'm just going to extract files click OK once they're extracted you can delete this so now we're going to open the file and right here is what we want to open JNS the emulator and when it first opens up you're going to get this right this welcome screen and you can choose your language and then you can check this because if you don't check it this will pop up every time you open it so I'm going to check that and click OK uh, the first thing I'm going to do, or that I want to do, is go to the controller configuration. So you're going to go to options, then go to input, and by default there's none, so you're going to have to choose your controller. I use the Logitech gamepad, and you can automatically configure it or manually configure it with the setup. So I'm going to choose setup to manually configure it. And I'm just going to grab the, the mouse or the the keypad or the, the game pad and hit left, then hit right, up, down, pick a button for select, pick your start button, your B button, and your A button. And it also gives you two choices if you want to add turbo buttons. So I'm going to click OK. And since we're here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure it so that you can play Duck Hunt or another shooting type game. You know, if you don't have a zapper or if you don't have the actual gun. So just come over to Player 2 and then just simply click on Zapper or uh, choose this option here for Zapper. That's all you have to do. And then click Choose OK. Now I'm going to, before I get started, I'm going to. In, or I'm going to disable the audio because I don't want any sound right now. So I'm gonna, we're going to start a game and to do that click File, Open. Then you need to change or f find where your games are stored which I have mine here. And f the game we're going to use is going to be Super Mario Brothers slash Duck Hunt so I can show you how both of these will work as soon as I can find it. Here we go. Super Mario Brothers. Okay. And if you'll notice, it's got a crosshairs for the mouse. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Super Mario Brothers. And I'm doing all this with the gamepad. And it plays pretty good. Emulation is pretty good with this. So that's about all I'm going to play. I'm going to close this or reset it, reset the game. Now I'm going to choose Duck Hunt. I'm just going to pick one duck. Now, what you're going to do here is this is all, you're not even going to use your gamepad. This is all done with the mouse. And you're just going to, when the duck comes out, you're going to left click to fire. And that's all you do. You're just using your mouse 
and then left clicking to fire. So that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and close the game. And that's pretty much all there is to it as far as configuring the controllers and all. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, I may do the video or the audio. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, so that's it for now. And uh, hopefully I can get uh, one of those, the next video out, hopefully in the next day or so. So take it easy.